So what is a Bernoulli distribution? A Bernoulli distribution is a discrete distribution that has essentially one outcome. You either succeed or fail. And usually it's represented like this. So your x, it's your random variable, in this specific case discrete random variable, follows a Bernoulli distribution and takes on two values. Sometimes you, would, you can see this like this. It means the same thing. I like this form better because it's more complete. These values, the first one, x, it's the number of successes. The second one is number of trials. And the third one is your probability of success. So x follows a Bernoulli distribution and you have the number of successes, you have your number of trials and you have your probability of success. Your Bernoulli distribution function is represented as follows. f of x, or it can be same as f of big x, your random variable equals to small x, is a function where you have the, what's the combination of n trials, so your n is n trials coming from here, and x successes coming from here. And this is times the probability of success exponent x, 1 minus b, one minus b and minus x. This is the main expression. And you will get this in your memory when you start doing more exercises. And this only happens if x equals to one. What this means is the Bernoulli distribution is a specific case where you just run one trial, that's it. So you run one trial and you have a success or a failure. So, so this is the success part and the failure part is zero, and you usually say it's like this, otherwise. So essentially you have, so essentially what you are saying here is that with only one trial, so n equals to one, you are either going to succeed or you are going to fail. So let's say an experiment would be, let's say throwing a coin, and you want to obtain heads. So you are either going to get it or you don't. So if you get it, it's a success. If you don't, 0% otherwise. Since this is a one trial only and you only obtain a success or a failure, you will sometimes see this same exact expression like this. So f of x equals p, so the probability of success, if x equals one, and one minus p if x equals to zero. And if you look at this, makes sense. In this specific case of a coin experiment, because you are either going to get heads or tails. So your probability of success essentially is under this specific scenario is 50%. So you have 50% chance of obtaining heads and one minus P, so 100% minus 50% of obtaining tails. One important key takeaway in regards to the probability of success under a Bernoulli trial is that although you are just performing one trial, it doesn't mean that the probability of success is 50% for each situation because you need to understand your sample space and your sample space is it's essentially what you have there. Let's say if it's a dice. If it's a dice, essentially you have six possible outcomes. So if you are looking for an, an experiment where your success definition is obtaining, let's say number, number one, so this means that out of all the six possibilities that you have from a fair die, you have one sixth of a, obtaining a success. And on the other hand, this is the important key takeaway from this, is that the probability of not succeeding, meaning not obtaining one out of six, it's one minus the probability of success. In our specific case, the probability of not obtaining what you want is six over six minus one six, which is five six. 
And in this different situation, now your sample space is a coin, throwing a coin. And now you have that situation where it's 50% can be either heads or tails. So your probability of succeeding by obtaining heads is 50% and your probability of failing is also 50% because that's the only other outcome that you have from that experiment. So I just want for you to realize this when you are conducting your Bernoulli trial. Because if your probability of success is something like, let's say, 1 over 16, your 1 minus p, it's 16 over 16 minus 1 over 16. So it's 15 over 16. This is just for you to realize the difference when you are conducting your Bernoulli trial.